Hello, I am Chiara Pressanto, I am a vet and a PhD student at the Veterinary Teaching Hospital of the University of Perugia. I'm going to present you the abstract of our case report about the clinical and ultrasonographic findings of gastronemius and superficial digital flexor muscle injuries in a quarter horse reigning mare. Muscular injuries to these muscles are uncommonly reported in adult horses. In most of the cases, the diagnosis is based on the clinical signs combined to a radiographic and or a scintigraphic examination. Our case report focuses on the diagnostic workup of a reigning quarter horse mare referred to our lameness service due to an history of chronic left hind limb lameness. A careful physical examination revealed a sickled hock appearance and a focal defect of the distal caudal aspect of the tight on the affected limb. Once examined at walk and then at the trot, the mare shows signs of hock instability and signs related to a failure of the caudal part of the reciprocal apparatus. So, a complete ultrasonographic evaluation of the pelvis and tight was performed, as well as radiographic examination of the stifle, including the distal third part of the femur. The diagnostic findings were consistent with a tear of the lateral head of the gastronemius muscle and a proximal enthesiopathy of the superficial digital flexor muscle. The mare was treated conservatively by corrective shoeing, administration of muscular relaxation drugs and started a rehabilitation program. After two months, the mare was readmitted to our facilities and reassessed with an improvement of the clinical signs, improvement in the lameness, and also a progression in the healing of the lesions. Biomechanically, in horses, the gastronemius muscle has the role to maintain the hock angle and to synchronize the hock with the stifle. In addition, this muscle acts as a very effective extensor of the hock. Generally, lesions of the caudal reciprocal apparatus are more frequently described in folds, with dystopia at the delivery as a risk factor, while in adults are more commonly reported as acute injury with severe clinical sign onset. However, in this mare, the clinical signs were more subtle. In our opinion, of particular interest was the pattern of lameness identified at the slow motion video analysis of this mare that was characterized by a more downward movement of the pelvis during weight bearing of the lame limb compared to the sound limb. In our case, ultrasound examination was the primary diagnostic technique which allowed us to identify the lesions. We used the supracondylar fossa as a landmark to approach the body of the gastronemius and the superficial digital flexor muscle, pointing out an irregularly shaped retracted muscular stumps with the absence of the characteristic striated muscle fibers pattern. The other ultrasonographic and radiographic findings are detailed described in the article, also with an affected limb comparison. At least the outcome in this case was good, but obviously a higher number of horses will be required to establish the prognosis for partial failure of the caudal part of the reciprocal apparatus. Thank you for watching our video abstract.